<laughs> See, first, there's the slap, which usually means get your sh together. Level two, that's the will. Not too extreme, but just enough to get that ass whooping. Then there's level three, the switch, in which one has to fetch their punishment. I'm talking psychological warfare. And then there's level four, the extension cord. Oh, we know your boy loves gaming, and what says gaming more than Honkai Impact, the next-gen 3D cross-platform anime action game that can be played on iOS, Android, PC, Steam, and Epic. That's right, my guy. An open-world exploration game with immersive stories and stunning 3D effects that incorporates a wide range of mini games to full-scale expansions. Check out Seal's new s rank Herschel Battle Suit, the Herschel of Rebirth, and mm, can we talk about the outfits? Miss this first silky violet dream. Not only do you get a new story mode, but with version 6.8 comes the first summer themed event before the endless dream ends, where players can defeat enemies by making good use of different cards. Well, that's not all. This event introduces multiple battle factions, each with its own distinct strategies. And from August 23rd to 27th, multiple games of Hoyaverse will appear on Gamescom. Captains, it's time to enjoy the great event with Valkyrie. So do yourself a favor and download Honkai Impact 3rd and use the redeem code Rebirth to get tons of rewards and new players will have even more bonus in game to explore. Tim, open this door. Open this door before I put my hands on you. 911, what's your emergency? I'm getting beat by my mommy. Help me, lady. Tim. She's gonna kill me. Son, what'd you do? Well, I sort of. Well, yeah. Ooh, that's your ass, little boy. Good luck, kid. Bye. Boy, get your butt over. I'm sorry, baby. Ow! See, this was the good old days. Days where well, parents put their hands on their kids. And it was legal. But not today, my guy. This Tim, scenario goes Open a this door right different. now. No, mommy. I'm calling the police. Tim, please don't call the cops. I'm really sorry. 911, what's your emergency? My mom's breaking into my room. Hang on, son. We're sending the authority. Now, this is how this scenario will go in my house. Ma'am, we've heard there's an abuse occurring at this location. Abuse? From who? My child? Oh, no, 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 officer. See, my child is on punishment. He can't play video games, he can't watch TV, he surely shouldn't be on the phone calling the police. Tim, get your butt over here. Did you call the police? No, mommy. Now tell this nice officer that I'm a good mother. Officer, my mother's gonna kill me. Yeah, I'll be dead. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back. Back to the good old days of ass whooping. So it was summer break back in my preteen years. Now every summer, my parents would plan a family vacation. And by vacation, I'm talking a day trip to the beach, my guy. Ain't no money for the whole weekend. We drive to the beach, enjoy the day, and bring our butts up the same day. Now the summer was coming to an end, and we had yet to go to the beach. Yo, Tim, can you ask mom if we could go to the beach? Why don't you ask her? You're the youngest. She listen to you first. So my brother convinces me, and I pull up to mom. Mom, can we go to the beach this weekend? Ask your father. Damn. Hey, Dad? Yes, son. Can we go to the beach? The beach? Yeah, the summer's almost over. Hmm, I tell you what. I'll look into it. Now looking into it was a better answer than no. So I took it. A few days pass and my dad gets pissed. The man goes to work, puts in overtime, and brings home the bag. And off we're going to the beach. Now we're talking a three hour drive, which meant halfway through the trip, we need to take a break and maybe get a little grub. So halfway in, we stop at a restaurant, order some food, get something to eat, my dad pays it, and then leaves a tip. Damn, Pops must be loaded. He left a bag on that table and he said he didn't have money for a new PlayStation. So we get outside, get to the car, and I was like, Mom, can I use the bathroom? Why didn't you use it earlier? Hurry up. So I get into the restaurant, walk towards the bathroom, but right before reaching the door, I suddenly see it. Damn. That's when it looking mighty tough, my guy. Maybe I should. All right, Tim, chill. Don't you do it. 
boy, please. Don't listen to that fool. Get that bag. Ain't nobody gonna know. So, my guy, I got one question for you. What would you do? Live the 20? Oh, take this blessing. We ain't no fool. If God has blessed me, who am I to deny this blessing? So, I get closer to the table and snuck the 20 into my pocket. Then went to the bathroom and handled my business. Ooh, wait. That's a 20 for the PlayStation, my guy. Thank you, God. No, this is wish got real see on my way back to the car i suddenly hear put it back all right tim be cool don't panic she has no proof see the whole time the lady at the front register was watching your boy so i walk out get to the car but the lady follows me excuse me your son here stole some money from the table no i didn't i'm telling you that peanut head is a thief so my dad steps in tim empty your pockets but dad now oh no 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 so what I do so I dig into my pockets, pull them out, and nothing's in them. Now, mom's got heated. Oh no, lady, my baby's not a thief. Now, I apologize to my baby. So the lady looks towards me. I know what you did, little brat. Then proceeds to lift my pants, and dead in front of them was a 20 sticking on top of my sock. Uh oh. Now, um, I stole light and embarrassed my mother. Ooh, wait. Now, if there's one thing about black mothers, it's they don't like to be embarrassed. Mm. This nigga did. So my mother deeply apologizes, gets into the car, and my dad leaves. Now, remember, we're still on our way to the beach, right? Mm -mm. Not anymore. Pops busts a U-turn. Meaning, this is a straight ride to hell. Now, the whole ride back, the car is dead silent. So silent, you can hear a pin drop. All right, Tim, think fast and start banging, homie, because you're about to meet God. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I thought you forgot that 20 on the table. The whole time, no one's saying a word. Not my brother, not my dad, and certainly not moms. Now, silent treatment, that's the sign of death. So we get to the crib, enter, and as soon as the door closes, I hear, pull your pants down. Lord, have mercy. Pops is about to go Damn. He reaches for his belt, but thank God he wasn't wearing one. The belt's in the luggage, which is in the car, even worse, in the trunk. Oh, thank you, God. Okay, Tim, Pops looking mighty angry. So when he goes for the belt, run. <laughs> so my Pops turns to leave, but then my mother arrives, holding an extension cord. Let me get him. Now, for my black constituents, y'all know all about the extension cord. See, first, there's the slap, which usually means get your sh together. Level two, that's the will. Not too extreme, but just enough to get that ass with it. Then there's level three, the switch, in which one has to fetch their punishment. I'm talking psychological warfare. And then there's level four, the extension extension cord mommy please not the extension cord you ever been hit so hard words can't come out i couldn't even breathe <laughs> so moral of the story regret is unnecessary that's why you should always think first before you act